Eccentric Italian surgeon Sergio Canavero claims researchers in China have successfully carried out a head transplant on a monkey. The ambitious scientist caused a media storm last year when he revealed his plans to attempt a human head transplant, saying it could be a cure for complete paralysis in a matter of years. Now, after working with the team in China and other researchers in South Korea, he suggests his plan is a step closer, thanks to the experiments on monkeys, mice, and human cadavers. He told New Scientist, I would say we have plenty of data to go on. It's important that people stop thinking this is impossible. This is absolutely possible and we're working towards it. The experiments, which some will find upsetting, are to be published in future issues of scientific journal Surgery and CNS Neuroscience and Therapeutics, the latter of which is rumored to be guest edited by one of Canavero's collaborators. While New Scientist has not seen the seven papers, it said it has seen images and videos of the grisly procedures described by Canavero. One image seemingly shows a monkey with its head sewn on, reminiscent of the stitches in Frankenstein films. Canavero claims Xiaoping Ren at Harbin Medical University, China has successfully carried out a monkey head transplant, connecting the blood supply between the head and new body, but critically, not the spinal cord. He said the gruesome experiment shows that if the head is cooled to minus 15 degrees Celsius a monkey can survive the procedure without suffering brain damage. Mail Online has contacted the researchers for more information and to corroborate Canavero's claims. The monkey fully survived the procedure without any neurological injury of whatever kind, he said. However, without a connected spinal cord, the animal would have been paralyzed at least from the neck down and was only kept alive for 20 hours after the operation, apparently, for undefined ethical reasons. It is not known whether the animal could feel pain in parts of its body after the procedure. Wren said he conducted experiments on human cadavers in preparation for the surgery and tested ideas about how to prevent brain injury. He is said to have successfully carried out a head transplant on a mouse in 2013 and since then has repeated the 10-hour procedure more than 1,000 times. In the video link conversation exclusively published by Russian news agency RIA Novosti, Canavero said, the monkey survived perfectly without injury for 24, for 20 hours before being euthanized, because of course we didn't want to keep the animal alive. Canavero added the Chinese have already conducted the first human head transplant, but refused to show photos as proof. Another video shows a mouse sniffing and moving its legs after reportedly having recovered from having its spinal cord severed and refused. Canavero said the procedure, carried out by Si Yoon Kim, at Konkuk University School of Medicine in South Korea, shows the spinal cord can refuse if it's cut cleanly and a chemical that preserves cell membranes, called polyethylene glycol, PEG, is used. However, as the video shows, the mouse is unable to move normally. Despite medical hurdles and skepticism from scientists about the release of details ahead of the research being published, Canavero is seeking funds to perform a human head transplant procedure and even plans on asking Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg for cash. Last year he hit the headlines when he announced plans to operate on 31-year-old Valerie Spiridonov, who has a genetic muscle-wasting disease. RT reported Canavero said, I'm asking today Russian billionaires and also foreign billionaires like Mark Zuckerberg, who is already sponsoring much of this life extension research, and this is certainly about extending life, to finance, to bankroll the first head transplant in Russia on Valery Spiridonov. Now Trin Hong Sun, director of the Vietnam Germany Hospital in Hanoi, Vietnam has offered to host the proposed operation. Dr. Canavero claims a successful outcome of the surgery is possible and Mr. Spiridonov, who suffers from Verdnig Hoffman disease, said, if I manage to replace my body and if everything goes well, it will allow me to be free of the limitations I am experiencing. He admitted previously, I am not rushing to go under the surgeon's knife, I am not shouting, come and save me here and now. Yes, I do have a disease which often leads to death, but my first role in this project is not that of a patient. First of all, I am a scientist, I am an engineer, and I am keen to persuade people, medical professionals, 
that such operation is necessary. I am not going crazy here and rushing to cut off my head, believe me. The surgery will take place only when all believe that the success is 99% possible. In other words, the main task now is to get support for Canavero from the medical community, to let him go on with his methods and to improve them within these two coming years. The men hope to carry out the operation in 2017, if all goes according to plan. Michael Sarr, editor of the journal Surgery, who is surgeon at the Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota, said, if the so-called head transplant works, this is going to open up a whole new science of spinal cord trauma reconstruction. He said that the journal doesn't support head transplants per se, because of ethical issues.